All right, what is up, you guys? We're on Mindvoid Unleashed, the Feed the Beast server for Mindvoid on the Unleashed pack. And me, and, it's just me and Dom right now. Unsuplus has joined for a bit, but he hasn't really done anything. Um, it's just been me and Dom, and uh, yeah, we've been we've been getting so much done and so easily too. And so I'm gonna just show you guys around what we've done. I've got the Bane mask on right now. It's part of the Hats mod. But, you know, there's l I've got lots of different, you know, um, ones. I, I, I really like the Kyle from South Park, Mr. T. Encouragement's pretty good. There it is. There's a cat one. <laughs> but, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, love the hats. I don't know why. Just kind of fun to get them. And it's it's f kind of funny when you see them on mobs. Um, so, yeah, I'll uh, get started to what we did first well we found that village right off the bat um so we had villager villagers um and we protected them like right away uh yeah i can sleep i can do that we'll go down into my bedroom right here mm -hmm. in um okay so yeah we'll start with this room right here so we've got dom got some power started right here you got some build craft power going um he got these hobbyist steam engines that just run off coal and water and he's got that all hooked up right here um, you know he's got the tinkers construct going sorry if you see black bars uh, or black flashing because I keep getting that and I don't know why I don't know how to fix it anyways so basically we've got you know all our ores set up right here you know Dom <laughs> Dom did the doors and the wood don't don't ask me, but that's this pink wood right here. Um, <laughs> Dom did all that. I got, I did all the IC2 stuff. Got that set up right here. You know, it's looking good. We just, I've just got one low voltage solar array at the moment and an MFE. So that's looking good. We've got our enchanting table set up right here, an advanced enchantment table. Da 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 da. You know how it goes. You can enchant like whatever enchant you want with that. You know, I can choose what enchants I want, which is awesome. Um, sugar cane, small sugar cane farm right there. Don't even know what kind of doors those are. No clue. No clue. So Dom's got Tinker's Construct going on over here. I don't really know too much what I'm doing with it. I know a little bit. Um, but Dom made me this backpack from Tinker's Construct. It's in my backpack slot and, uh, I actually had to make another one, um, but yeah. So uh, it lets me hold a bunch of extra stuff. Look at all these extra slots. I got th that many extra slots, and I've got this uh, force pack right here. But it's I, I named it Fargo's Ender Pack. Um, so this is a this is a force pack. I'll uh, pull up how to make it here. Uh, yeah, not too bad. You need force ingots, which you just get naturally in the world and all that other stuff and then you can it's so I'm not gonna explain the whole dark craft system but basically there's a force infuser which acts as an enchantment table and you start at tier 0 and then you work your at once you enchant a lot of stuff so you work your way up and I think tier 7 is the highest so I think we've got because we can fill in all the slots so I think that's the highest you can go and that's how I've been getting stuff like this which has wing b bane ender sword bleeding Look at all those enchantments on it. It's just the most balling sword you could ever ask for. I better not ever lose this because this thing is like so crazy. Just look at all those. Just just take a sec take a second, look at it all. Um that's what's allowed me to get all this cool stuff which I'm gonna sh demonstrate for you on all of these um and even including on my armor here. Um which I'm I'm gonna demonstrate for you, but yeah, it, it allowed me to upgrade this so I could have more slots and it also allowed me to upgrade it to an ender pack. So I think if I had multiple of these, you know, I could, it's like an ender chest, portable ender chest. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, I got this bow too, which is obviously, obviously nice. Um, so I guess I'll show you some of this stuff. This, the wings, the wing, okay, like the, the wing enchantment on the armor makes it so I can do stuff like jump really high. Jump really high and come down really slow. You know, like, I can do stuff like that, and I can also fully fly. So if I hold space shift and right click, I can go into fly mode, 
And then I can just fly around like I'm in creative, and then until I hit another block here, it'll uh, then it'll turn off, you know. So that's how that works. It's really awesome, <laughs> really awesome. Like I can't get enough of this this wingsuit. Um, also, 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 what was I gonna say about this? It has speed on it, so you know I can go extra fast. I, damage, I, it does so much stuff, you know. It's hard to keep up with what it does, but basically damage, I think, damages people more when they when you attack them or something. Luck is just like looting, I think. Uh, speed makes me go faster. Wing has already explained it. Heat, I'm not sure. I don't remember the effect that that does on your pants. Um, sturdy, I think, just makes them last longer. Protection 4, you obviously know what that it is all about. Um, then we got this Ender Sword. So it has wing, which uh, I don't think it has an effect now that I add ender to it. I think that might be cancelled out. Um, but before, it would just basically help you fly a little bit better. Um, and then it's got uh, bane, which hurts, like poisons them a little bit, I think, and bleeding, which hurts them a little bit more. And then it's got all the regular enchants that you can see. I don't know why that's going off my screen. Yeah, it's because it's so big, I guess. But yeah. Uh, repair, so it repairs automatically, but Ender Sword, so that's what I wanted to show you, so if I look in this direction, I don't know what it does when I don't shift, but when I shift and click, I teleport to a direction, you know, isn't that sweet, that's like, it's like having free Ender Pearls, um, so anyways, that's the Ender Sword. I'm not sure what the Ender effect does on a bow. I think it teleports mobs to a specific, like, different area. Um, not, not positive, but, uh, yeah, it's got all those other ones that I already explained. Swiftness just makes it so you can, like, shoot faster. Um, yeah. And this is needing coal because, okay, this, I'll, I'll show you this in a second, but, um... So this, <laughs> this lumberjack enchantment on this four sacks, you'll be able to see what it does right here. It, uh, it basically just takes out all the logs. So I don't want to take out one of those pink trees because they're really annoying, but, uh, rubber tree is perfect. So if I just take out right here, see what it did there? You know, so awesome. So, so awesome. And I got fortune on it. I've just got loaded up enchantments on everything. So it's really nice. Really nice. Um, wanted to show you what the axe can do. What well, my pickaxe can do as well. So it's got grinding on it and it's heat. Which the heat, whatever you mine it cooks. And then the grinding whatever you mine it pulverizes it after it cooks it. And then speed is just like efficiency, efficiency, and then there's just all the regular enchantments. Ashes is kind of weird. You'll see what it does, but I'm not fully, I don't fully understand it yet. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, set some of these up and you'll be able to see this pickaxe in action. Because it's amazing. It's like the best thing to go mining with ever. Like, it's, it's crazy. Um, but what I actually do now is I bring everything back with silk touch on my diamond drill and then I use this afterwards so that I can carry more. Alright. Um, okay, fail. Um, <laughs> okay, so watch what it does. Isn't that cool? So it, it's pulverizing it, so it's making me, giving me ferrous ore and, as a bonus ore and, um, iron, the iron ingots there. So, and if I hold shift and mine, it just regularly mines it. So that's awesome too, actually. So, really cool. Like, I love this. I never have to use any machines anymore, basically. Ever. Like, I never, well, for, for that kind of stuff anyways, I never have to use the pulverizer or the, or anything. So, we've got that. That's really awesome. We've got grinding and heat on the shovel as well. So, like, when I, you know, do that, it's, uh, it gives me dried dirt, because I guess it cooks it, and that's, you can see the ashes is like the flames thing that kind of makes them disappear a little faster, I'm, I'm not sure exactly the effects of it, though, 
Um, not sure if, even if I like it. Oh no, this one doesn't even have ashes. So that was just the heat thing going on. This one has ashes though. Um, let's see. Yeah, see, I don't know. It's, it, it's, I'm not exactly sure what ashes does. But cool, I can get glass just from mining cobble or stone. Um, so I think that's it for like all the things I've enchanted. This, these four shears you can make with two force ingots and then you can enchant them with the rainbow effect. And then I'll show you what it does. You'll see in a second. So you can tell that I'm getting every color of wool. So, you know, that's what that does. It, it, it lets you get a random chance of getting any color from sheep. So you just have to have one color and then you can get all the colors, you know. Perfect. Look at all that. Um, awesome. And with four shears, you can also do this. <laughs> and get some, get yourself some leather. And you can do it to chickens as well. So that's kind of awesome. Um, another thing you can do is with the rod of holding, you can turn a force rod into a rod of holding if you upgrade the force rod with force flasks. And then you can do things like this. If you have a flask in your inventory, you can capture entities, and it's not not hostile ones, just uh, friendlies. But see, I just I just he, if you have flask in your inventory, it'll use up a flask and bottle the sheep. So, and then you can just you know put them back wherever you want. But it's an easy way to transport mobs. I love it, and that's what allowed us to do this so easily with the villagers. Just bottled them up and transported them up there. I haven't seen. I have one issue. I haven't seen an iron golem drop yet, so I'm kind of worried um, that something's up. Um, if you know what it might be, let me know. But um, I gotta wait a little bit longer to do some more testing. But we got an iron farm right here, and I don't see why it wouldn't work. Maybe, like, I could see maybe the drops aren't going through properly. Like, if I, let's see what happens if I just, uh, drop one of these dry dirt down there. It should come up and then just pop out. Do -do, come on, come on, there it goes. Yep. So it's working f fine, so I think it should be... I, I just, I'm worried that the golems aren't spawning, you know what I mean? Um... So Dom's been doing his bee stuff over here, and I think he's been doing pretty good with that. I'm just kind of letting him do his thing because he probably knows more than I do about bees. And, you know, I, I thought I knew a decent amount. Ooh, he's got nobles. He's got imperials. Lots of them. Lots of them, too. Um, ro robust. Tolerant. Robust. He's got industrious. And industrious. Nice. It's got lots going on over here with the bees. Um, so Dom's been working on that. Um, another thing that we have going on, I'll show you. It is this way. So with the force... Oh yeah, another thing that the, the mod gives you is the force wrench, which I'll show you. Well, actually, I'll just show you in this. Um, should be on the next page. Yeah, so you make it with, you know, force ingots, basically. And uh, you can... Use it to get anything, as I've already explained in previous videos. But uh, you can get spawners, and we got a bunch of skeleton spawners, and put them in the nether. So you'll be able to see what's going on with that. So it's turned off right now. This redstone just goes up to the top of it. And it doesn't even fully turn it off, but it mostly turns it off. Um, it's hard to fully turn it off. We need more glowstone lamps in a bunch of places. Um, but if we go down here, you'll be able to see it in action. So, there's the f there's four of them there right now. I think we actually have more skeleton spawners than that, though. Um, but yeah, they go down to those conveyor belts, and the conveyor belts all push them into one or a two two block two by one spot. You know. So we'll be able to go down, and I'll show you them. So oh, there's three now. <clears throat> Sorry, Dom changed it, I guess. So he just made it so it was cent centered and stuff, which is fine. Um, it was two blocks wide before, that's why I said that. But it's two, it's three, three by one now, um, which is f 
works perfectly and all the drops will automatically go into all the chests like here so all the spoils bags will go in here they've already been cleared out Dom, Dom, Dom did some clearing out of those you know all of the swords are almost full we got 21 wither skeletons but let's kill some so you can see some of the drops going up but I got looting on this sword so we, you know we'll get we'll get a decent amount of stuff nice um, see if we can see any of it. Oh, there it's coming. Yay! The bones. Anything else? Anything else yet? So what's that? It all goes into a chest first, that gold chest down there, and then it gets pumped out into this, so it has like a little buffer zone where it can like load up so it doesn't uh get too, these hoppers don't overflow, you know what I'm saying? Um... Then the coal's going in there, nice. So, so you can see it's all working. And we, we have lots of heads, so we're going to be able to get lots of portal guns and beacons and stuff like that. So this is we got lots of coal from this, it's working well. Oh yeah, my uh, suit also allows me to just go up steps like really easy. Um, it's also enchanted with charge, so I could charge it. It's um, All it is is this force tunics upgraded. So... Um... <clears throat> So, force tunic. You can't see the recipe, but all you do is throw leather on the ground and then hit it with the force rod, and then it turns into a force tunic. And then you can upgrade it to get this crazy stuff. So, I have like the double, the charge 2 enchant on it, so I can have 100,000 EU. So, I think that's the most you can have power wise on your, on your, um, armor there, but pretty good still. It lasts me a long time. But yeah. <laughs> I feel like a machine already. <laughs> I just feel like we're we're so set up and it's only been like a few days. It's crazy. Like I feel like we almost beat the game. <laughs> but like we we the only thing we don't have is like mass power. That's the only thing that we don't have. Um <clears throat> So the Wither Farm I showed you. So this won't be an action right now. Oh, there's a there's a guy with a head. Let's go get him. I'm not sure if I have that head. Okay. Um, but these won't be in action because it's nighttime and I need coal actually. I'm gonna go back and get some coal because the, the, um, wood farm needs coal because it, uh, the leaves cover it up so it's not always, uh, able to generate power solar, solar wise. Ooh, that's all the coal we have. Not cool. We need to do some wither wither farming. But anyways, um during the day and when it's not covered up by trees it will uh run fine. This will this should be good for the demonstration at least. Um there we go. Oh you can fit a lot of coal in there. So once we're rolling in the coal we'll just load that up. Um But we've got a tree farm right here. Somehow that's running. Not really sure how. It's I guess it's just still got... Does it generate power at night? I think it does. It looks like it is. Crazy. But anyways, um, this is just our automatic wheat farm. And I guess it's hasn't got any seeds in the chest yet because it hasn't finished fully planting. Although it looks like it's fully finished. Yeah, it's like, oh, I guess it's going to load those three slots up with seeds, and then it's going to start loading them into the system. But as soon as there's a... Um, do I have any bones? No. As soon as there's an, uh, a wheat grown, don't even... Oh, you bastard. As soon as there's a wheat grown, it'll harvest it and put it in here. <coughs> <coughs> As soon as there's a wheat grown, it'll harvest it, put it in here, then that'll automatically get sucked up into our system and put into these barrels. So we, all, I, and I just built this, so that's why it hasn't, doesn't have much, and I just built this as well, so, um, that's why it also doesn't have much, but it's, it's working well. Um, this is going, this is the same principle, you know, chops down the tree, sticks them in there, goes into our system, got the diamond pipes hooked up to separate it all, da 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 da. -da. And so we have free wood, free wheat, and almost free iron. I don't know what's wrong with it. Like, I don't know what it could be. Um. <laughs> nice. Nice. 
Um, but because it because it, it looks like it's fine. Like I don't see. The only weird thing I, I found was this room looks different than it normally does. Like normally these doors are one up, but um, I don't see why this shouldn't work still. Okay. This, by the way, this armor, it also makes it so if I just have my hand out, I can mine stuff. Like, like that. So it's like, crazy. You know? Like, I feel so overpowered. I don't even have to have a pickaxe. Um, but I, I'm not sure why this iron farm isn't working, but anyways. That's, that's pretty much everything we've done so far. Um, I don't think I've shown you all the items I have, though. I got, I have this bat pack. I think I'm going to upgrade that to a lap pack soon. I have the rod of return. Not exactly sure. This rod has not been initialized. Okay. So I can set coordinates to this and then just return home. Oh my god. I'm going to try that right now. <laughs> if that's true, let's set the coordinates. Okay, so... Do, do, do. Come on, come on. Okay, so right here. So what are we at? 221, 56, 629. 220, 629. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it, I, think it just, <laughs> I think it just took my exact coordinates that are right now. Save. So now if we go over, let's go somewhere crazy far away. Do 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 ba ba ba. How far should we go? So easy, like so easy to go far away now with the suit. If you ask me, Darkcraft is probably overpowered, but I love it still. It's a little overpowered though. Oh my god, <laughs> that is so sick. I am in love with this rod. That sounds so wrong <laughs> in so many ways. I just want to like know like if this has limits to like how far it can go. We got a nice spawn by the way. We got all these apple trees around so we have unlimited apples. Um, we have this crazy nice snow biome around as well. But uh, yeah I was gonna ask you guys let me know if you oh yeah I, can, I forgot to tell you I can run over water. It uses up my fly meter so it's like I'm flying when I do it but so cool, like, hmm, I just, I really want to get to that island. Okay, let's just go. Yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't that hard at all. <laughs> um, oh, here's a snow biome. But yeah, do you guys want to see a series of this? Because, like, I have my single player series, and I do want to keep going with that, because I love Ars, Ma Ars Magica, and I love my world, and so I want to keep going with that, and I love single player. But, uh, do you guys want a series of this as well? Um... The episodes will be probably a little bit slower um well not slower like i'll have the same amount of episodes but they'll be more varied between this and single player and mind void um as opposed to you know just single player and mind void so let me know if you want to see a series with this i'll probably get in a call with dom and maybe some other guys once they join the server and do some community stuff but i'm having a lot of fun playing with this and i'm hoping that zio is going to join but i'm not sure if he is so uh, we'll see about that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I kind of miss playing Feed the Beast on a server. It's been a lot of fun. You know, I've been playing single player so long, but I've, I've learned, like, last time I played on a server, I was such a noob on Feed the Beast compared to what I am now. Like, I do things so fast now, like, cause I know it, you know? And I guess these guys just spawn naturally around here, and you can't collect them in the jars, unfortunately. What's that? Oh, it's just a hat. Oh, I want that hat. That hat's awesome. Jester. Nice. That's sick. <laughs> That's super sick. I love it. I love it. And it's Stan. So let's, uh, you know what? I'm kind of sick of this place. I've been around here too long. You know, maybe, you know what? Just for the sake of it. I'm going to put all this stuff in here, and I'm just going to be like, okay, I'll, I'll grab some ice since I don't really have any ice. Hmm. This is very useful to me because I don't have any on my base, and it's very easy to acquire. 
And now it's like, I'm done. I want to go home. Oh my god. That's like the best thing ever. I don't think it will work in the nether. I'm scared to try because it might teleport me to where it should be in the nether. If you know what I'm saying. So I'm kind of scared to try that. These cabinets are... S oh, whoops. Don't do that with your sword. But how do you open these again? I think you need your hand. Doo -doo. I love those cabinets. Um, but yeah. We've been just like... This force infuser and the enchantment table on the wither farm has just made us ballin', basically. And we have lots of stuff. You know, we're loaded in ores. We don't have that much wood, but we should be getting lots now. Got these poison buckets, which, like, I found a pool of poison just randomly in the world, which is kind of crazy. Um, the spike is what I'm going to, trying to use to kill the iron golem, but I'm not sure if it's going to work. Um, this is from s those spiders in the nether, which I'm not sure what they're all about. The heat string, whatever. Um, I know there's more stuff to show you. We got so many different there's so much different greens out there in the with the biomes of plenty world holy bees holy bees um yes i do one second uh yeah i'll get it to you now these mitts are awesome because they act like a hoe and an axe and a shovel all at once we have so much of this kind of stuff because of like the wither farm and the spoils bags that you get from them um the saw is pretty awesome because it's like we have micro blocks and it basically works the exact same as Red Power Micro Box worked, it seems. Anyways, we got a cave spider spawner here. Um, what else can I show you? Another skeleton spawner. Tinker's Construct stuff. Experience Tome. I can put experience into this. So I actually don't really need experience right now, so I'll demonstrate it. Um, if I hold shift and right click, it takes my experience, puts it into this book, you know, until it gets to about three levels. I don't think I can go down. Oh. It let me go down further that time. It didn't before. But anyways, and then if I want them back, I just don't hold shift and then I right click and it gives me them back. So if I ever need to enchant something, I got like all this experience here waiting for me. And I think Dom's been adding a lot to that as well. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much everything. Like, I think I've shown you like everything we've done, but it's like, well, we haven't built anything or made it look nice, but it's like, we're just so advanced already. It's going to be really easy for me actually to to advance in solars and rank up and stuff like that. Dom's got this uh, turtle that's been going down here and doing some mining. Um, and I think he's got a quarry set up as well, but I'm not sure where it is. So I couldn't show you. This is cool. He found a natural pool of regeneration. I don't know what it is, but it gives you regeneration, which is awesome. Awesome thing to find. I think Dom's planning a blaze farm over there. Um, but it's not completed yet. Uh, I don't know. I know we have a blaze spawner somewhere. Somewhere along these lines. Got a nice red rock biome over here. There's lots of nice generation around this place. And I see a sheep with a hat, so I'm going to go for it. But that's it for me, you guys. Like, I don't have anything. I, I think I probably missed some things. Towering pillar of hats? N nice? <laughs> um... I probably missed a few things that we did, but, uh, it's been good. I've been having so much fun with the new, with all the new updates. All of it. Um, I just want to make sure that I'm not missing anything. Oh yeah, this gives me health if I'm ever, like, low on health. Which I won't be right now. Sorry if you're seeing the, that black flashing, but... Yeah, I'm not going to be low on health right now, but if I click this, it it restores my health. So there's that as well, which is very cool. I'm very well set up. Oh, so let's let's let him kill us a little bit. Thank you. Finally, you're doing some damage. Come on, buddy. Come on, harder, harder. See how it just restored it like that? Beautiful, beautiful. All right, that's it for me. I'll see you guys later. Peace.